Tech industry is going to be forever changed from now since Donald Trump has been elected. And this video is going to be the brutal truth you should hear because many people will predict the positive side, many people will predict the negative side, but all those predictions will fail because as someone who has been in college when Trump was the president, as someone who was working in tech when Trump was the president and then switched to Biden's administration, I have seen the unpredictable nature of Trump and I'm gonna give you all the facts and to tell you what you should hope in your future as a student coming to the US or in terms of future as a tech person in the US. I think that anyone who gives you a definitive answer on what they think the future is is like full of it because like there's no predicting with Donald Trump like it all depends on who lobbies him. It all depends on who he's fighting with. It all depends on who's kissing his ass. Like, it all just depends on so many things. If there was one thing that was predictable during the first four years of Trump, it was that nothing is predictable. Wow. Number one, do not try to predict anything. Like, I want to tell you, when Trump was the president, he did tariffs on China. But those tariffs were not applicable for all companies. Apple was exempted for tariffs on iPhone, Apple Watch, and Mac products. Why? Because they lobbied. Whatever Trump says, jo Akshay Kumar ka dialogue hai na, jo main bolta hu, main karta hu, jo main nahi bolta, wo definitely karta hu. That's the unpredictable nature of Donald Trump that anything can happen at any point of time based on who is lobbying Donald Trump and at what price and what suggestions they give. Lobbying is in the form of money, which is also considered kind of legal corruption in the US, or it could be just sort of formal advice that is given to the president or the cabinet of the current incumbent president. Before sharing the next brutal truth, I want to tell you next four years, it's going to be clickbait news, which is going to scare the shit out of you, whether it's Times of India or any Indian news or American news, because that's how they make more money. And a simple example could be, they will highlight that Donald Trump has won the House, the Senate and presidency and Supreme Court too. But the truth is also in 2016 as well, Donald Trump had won the presidency, Senate and House as well. So he had the trifecta in 2016 too. It might be more powerful in 2024, but don't think that people in House and Senate are stupid, that they will just, you know, do anything they want to. So that's why do not stop your decision to study in the US if you are. and. Our consultancy, Fly With Singh, is there to help you. You will find all the free resources on Fly With Singh, whether it's letters of recommendation or you want to get helped to shortlist universities, you will get the support you need. And I can proudly say Fly With Singh is ARCC credited. Only few consultancies in India are ARCC credited and I can proudly say it is partnered with admit card. So go check out, go to Fly With Singh and get started with your study abroad journey. Now, next brutal truth, Elon Musk and Donald Trump partnership is not as easy as it sounds like. So Elon Musk has 8%, 6 to 8% share of EVs sold in China. And he, he definitely wants to increase it because if China, which is close to implementing full self-driving of Tesla in China, he will get a lot of sales. His market value of Tesla will increase and Tesla has reached trillion dollar market cap after Donald Trump became president. So he really wants to get more out of China and increase his business worldwide. At the same time, Donald Trump wants to put tariffs in China. And in 2019, Donald Trump and China's Prime Minister Xi Jinping came to a deal. Both sides, trade wars were happening. So in this trade wars that may start again, who is going to win? Is, is it Elon Musk who will maybe reduce the number of tariffs and chase the win? Or is it going to be maybe Donald Trump who is going to put tariffs no matter what? It is completely unpredictable. So that's why you should not even try to predict what's going to happen. At the end of the day, American corporations are going to win no matter what happens. Some will win those who are able to lobby the most, just like Apple lobbied for exemption from tariffs that were imposed 
for China imported goods. So based on whoever lobbies the best, they will win. And in the end, there will be more job growth in the US regardless. Number three, the opportunities in AI will increase because the AI executive order that Biden put in 2023 October, that basically says that you need to have standards for AI. And if something bad happens due to AI, such, such as the movies you have seen, for example, Upgrade is a very good movie in which AI does really bad. Uh, other is Space Odyssey, which is a movie which a lot of American students and American AI enthusiasts have seen in which AI does really bad and takes control over human being. So basically, Biden's AI executive order is if AI does something really bad, the companies should be responsible and they should actually share the training information to the government and Republicans on the other side say that that can actually lead to trade secrets. If training data is shared, then trade secrets are basically shared. So they want to cancel this executive order and AI innovation can actually accelerate after Trump administration because of the deregulation. And this will create probably more opportunities for everyone to grab in AI, more competition, more opportunities and ease of business Number four, rise in cybersecurity. Donald Trump wants to really go tough against China because earlier China found the hack of using some of the US servers like on, like on some cloud platforms. Now he really wants to fight even tougher on those and increase in cybersecurity efficiency of the system. Do you know with cybersecurity being vulnerable, there is a potential of $10 trillion to be lost in cybersecurity hacks. But 99% of these hacks can be avoided by simple cybersecurity principles, simple clean habits. And he wants to encourage these habits to even more companies so that we are able to fight this cybersecurity war on a stronger end and there will be more opportunities in cybersecurity coming up for sure. Number four, the Web3 era is coming back. Cryptocurrencies, the cost of Bitcoin, Ethereum, you saw the spike in the price after Trump won. Now, what's going to happen is if I share the details in the US, Bitcoin and Ethereum are considered commodities and rest are considered securities and securities go through lot of regulations because a lot of scams can happen. For example, FTX was a, was a scam that happened and many Many people worldwide suffered because of FTX not giving your cryptocurrencies back from your wallet. So because of that, there were a lot of regulations. But now Donald Trump wants to, you know, make US cryptocurrency market the biggest in the world. And because of that, there'll be definitely more opportunities coming in Web3 development, apps development, the use cases of these currencies and some decentralization of social media and more apps can hopefully come because the regulations will be far less this time. And this is also very unpredictable because the cost of cryptocurrency should be equated to how much use case is there. And currently use case hasn't increased as much in the last four years. If the use case increases, then there'll be more demand as well. And that is still very unpredictable. And last, the future of STEM OPT and H4 EAD. When Donald Trump was the president, this was very, very unpredictable to tell whether STEM OPT will be canceled or not because he did try to cancel STEM OPT but just because it was not passed around the 60% majority in House and Senate, it did not go through even if he wanted to. But now since he has majority in both and if all the Democrats in House and Senate vote for that bill, then only it can be passed. Of course, it, he has more power now, but still there are checks and balances. And because Elon Musk's company Tesla has so many H1B workers, I think he will definitely be actually lobbying, maybe possibly against that bill as well. So it's still very unpredictable, questionable. I cannot answer these questions. So that's why the biggest advice I ask you to do is just do not predict and play by ear. The biggest hope you can have right now is US is the land of opportunities and will possibly be the land of opportunities if immigrants stay. Currently, the biggest Google search was by US citizens mainly, especially by women who want to 
immigrate to New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and this spiked by 3,000% when Donald Trump got elected. But immigrants who have a job and they trying to leave after Donald Trump, they don't try as much until and unless they know that they are actually getting kicked out. So don't worry too much. Don't predict the future that much. Think about the bubble you can actually impact and things that are actually in your control. If you always think about things that are not in your control, you will not be able to actually be productive and you will not be able to do the things that you actually can. So that will be my advice. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.